Well, hi everybody. Hi, Mike here. I'm doing a very different video here today for you. I want to talk about what happens when you go to the bank and you give them two dollars and then you get one of these, which is a roller of two dollars worth of nickels or 40 nickels. Well, uh, nothing, right? You just get two dollars back for two dollars and and you annoyed the bank teller quite a bit actually that's what i want to talk to you about while everybody's talking about bitcoin or dogecoin i think that's how you say it and i don't really understand these things but i'm a really big um, sort of fanatic on intrinsic value of things so i don't want to get all political here i'm not here to get political and say this is fiat currency and it's only good as the good paper it's printed on and and so is this well actually this nickel is composed of 25 percent nickel the metal and 75 percent copper now uh, those particular metals have great utility in society and uh, so theoretically you could melt these nickels down and use the metals to make something like uh, uh, something like the Tesla batteries or or help electrify the world which is what people keep talking about we're gonna get we're gonna go towards EVs and stuff well first of all you can't do that because it's illegal Oh, well, it's illegal to do that, I should say, uh, to melt down coins. That's when Congress started to discover back in 2006 or something that the value of the metals in nickels were outpacing the value of its face value. So, and so let's, let's run some numbers here. What happens when you go to the bank and you get $2 worth of nickels in rolls and then you go and... Uh, you know, trade your dollar bills for that. Okay, first of all, a nickel is five grams. 25% of that nickel is nickel, as I said. 75% is copper. So that's 1.25 grams of nickel and 3.75 grams of copper. <clears throat> as of yesterday, the spot prices of these metals are as follows. Nickel is now trading for the you know for on Friday at seven dollars and eighty one cents a pound that's that's really kind of an uh, close to an all-time high it spiked in 2010 or 12 something like that as well um, so that is basically 1.72 cents per gram copper is four dollars and forty seven cents a pound the spot price and that is a little bit under a penny per gram <clears throat> now uh, just so you don't think I'm making this up, here is a chart of both metals. Okay, so let's do some number crunching. Uh, real quick, like a bunny. If we go and we say that uh, $7.81 uh, a pound is really $0.0127 or 1.72 cents a gram, what's in a nickel in terms of its intrinsic value in terms of the metals? Well, let's go and calculate that out real quick like. Um, that means that if I take 1.25 grams times 1.72 cents a gram, the nickel in a nickel is worth 2.15 cents. And the copper in a nickel is worth 3.675 cents. So add those together, that's the total content in a nickel. A nickel is really worth 5.825 cents. And I don't think anybody's really talking about that. That means if you wanted to find out what happens when I go and take two dollar bills and I ask for one of these, that means I'm getting like 16 percent instant return on my money. So that would be two, you know, two times 5.825 8 to 5 divided by 5, that ratio, 
That means that this thing, as of Friday, is worth two dollars and thirty-three cents for a two-dollar roll of nickels. And you scale that up. You know, you had ten of those, then you got uh, you got twenty-three dollars and thirty cents. So you're getting sixteen percent instant return. There ain't no, you know, looking for errors, no certain years to look for. This is instant if we converted all of our dollar bills to nickels as of Friday. Now you could say, hey, the price could fluctuate. Yeah, sure. But if you're a believer in the electrification of society, those are key metals. As a matter of fact, you, right, there's an interview where, uh, or talk where Elon Musk said that nickel's going to be one of the very important elements in terms of uh, it's supply and demand <clears throat> to make uh, those Tesla batteries. Copper, just about everywhere, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna connect something electrically, copper is almost always the metal. So that's the secret, folks. I'm giving you. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to have an offshore bank account. You just gotta have some dollar bills that you want to trade for nickels, or you know, just save your nickels. Don't give them to the coin star, uh, coin star, or whatever. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to do, frankly. Do I need to? No. I just like, I just like having something of value and uh, this doesn't make me feel as good anymore as this does. So I hope you enjoyed this number crunching. Check my numbers. Check the spot prices. I'm not, I'm not faking anybody out, but no one's talking about how a nickel is almost worth five, uh, six cents. No one's talking about it. Everybody's talking about Ethereum and Bitcoin and I think it's Dogecoin and um, not Nickelcoin. Okay, um, bye.